Hi, welcome everybody to the TechSoup new member orientation and Q&A. This is your time to ask questions, um, questions that you didn't know to ask. And I'm sure you'll be thinking of some questions as we move forward. Um, this is gonna be about an hour. Um, we thank you for putting in the chat room where you're from and how long you've been a member. We've already seen people who've been a member for a day, a week, eight months. So this is um, fantastic. Before we get started, I'm gonna let you know how you can engage with us today. Um, you already know you are mute, but if you would type your questions in the Q&A, we have um, many team, team members here in the background and some you'll meet in um, just a moment who will type the answers for you in the Q&A, but feel free to type in the chat and chat with each other too. Share your experiences with TechSoup as well. Um, you will get this recording along with the slides and the slides have some external links with them. So you'll see those external links and you'll be able to click on them and get um, more details about anything that you may not be able to, you know, catch on with today. And as I said, some people have already turned on the closed caption. If you need the closed caption, just type on that CC button at the bottom of your Zoom screen. I'm going to move out the way and um, see you on the next free webinar. I turn this over to Nick Finn. He's the Senior Director here at TechSoup. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's um, Get to Know TechSoup session, as particularly for new members and folks who may not know the full breadth and scope of what TechSoup can do for nonprofits. Um, here's the four of us who are going to be speaking with you today, the delightful Aretha Simons, one of my favorite people here at TechSoup. That's me with a slightly awkward, too long beard there in the middle, and I have lousy Wi-Fi today, so I'm going to keep my video off and just present to you. And then also we'll have Kevin Mulhall and Kelly Garrett, who um, are also on the front lines of helping nonprofits at TechSoup every day. And they'll tell you a little bit about how um, the customer success team and then the account management team can help you get the most out of your TechSoup relationships. Well, you're here. So you've asked a fundamental question. What is TechSoup and how can it help me? And I hope that I've got a lot of great answers for you today, but I'm gonna start with a quick buzzword alert because sometimes, especially in the technology sector, people use terms that may not necessarily be commonly agreed upon or maybe a mystery to some folks. And I don't wanna assume that everybody knows exactly what those words always mean. So three core ones that at the start of things I like to bring up. The first is digital transformation. If you're a nonprofit, you've probably heard that phrase used, and it may not be completely clear what that actually means, but honestly, to just boil it down in simple terms, it's the act of making your nonprofit more tech savvy, using digital technology and using it in, to help further your mission and to help your operations run more smoothly. The second phrase is civil society, which is something we'll talk about today a little bit and TechSoup talks about quite a bit. Um, and really in a simple way, it's non-governmental people and organizations. Civil society is the rest of us who are working together to try to make a better world, to improve our communities, and who are not doing it as part of the government specifically or as part of a private corporation, right? So that's civil society. And then finally, the phrase cloud adoption. Most of us really do understand what that means, but you know, early technology didn't rely on cloud connectivity and the internet, but today <clears throat> that's the core of how all technology really works. But you'll hear um, folks in the nonprofit sector and in the tech sector talk about the crucial nature of cloud adoption. And really we're just talking about using more modern web-based tools, right? Okay, so now we've got through those three things. Let's get into it. What is TechSoup? How can it help you? Well, first of all, and I think this is really important to call out, TechSoup is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. That means we're just like you. The folks on this call are nonprofits as well, 501c3s. Um, and that means that we operate with a mission in mind. There is something we're trying to accomplish. And in TechSoup's case, our mission is to support other nonprofits and NGOs in the US and around the world 
as you try to use technology to further your mission, to serve your communities and do the work that your nonprofit does. And that means since we are a 501c3, we understand what it means to be a 501c3. It's a little bit different than just being a small business or being a corporation. 501c3s have their own laws that they have to abide by. And there's a whole reality that comes with that. We understand what that means. Um, our mission is to support nonprofits as they work with technology to help build a more equitable planet. And we think it's important to point out that equitable planet piece of it. As I said, we're part of a global network. We work around the world. And we really do believe that part of what the goal of technology and nonprofit needs to be is to make the world fairer and more equitable for everyone. One practical thing that TechSoup also is, is the host of a catalog of technology products available to 501c3 nonprofits from major tech brands like Microsoft, Dell, Intuit, Adobe, and many more. And we work with these large tech companies to make sure that the pricing that we offer nonprofits is the most competitive possible. So you are getting special pricing from TechSoup from these major tech companies, pricing that you may not be able to find on the open market. So you can save money. Um, we also, more and more these days, offer a catalog of services to help nonprofits choose, install, and manage the software and hardware they get from TechSoup, right? So we know these days that there is an endless supply of new and established techs, tech that you can get for your nonprofit, but often the real challenge is how do you implement that technology? How do you get it up and running within your nonprofit and train your staff to use it? and have it configured appropriately that it's helpful and not just a constant headache. So TechSoup services are a new part of TechSoup that works with nonprofits to help you choose and install and manage those software and hardware platforms. We also create content, courses and trainings and education to help nonprofit staff and you know, volunteers, even board members to build their tech skills and expertise. And that's important because, as I was just saying in the services area, it's not just about the tech anymore. Now it's about making sure that the people who have to work with it have what they need to use it properly. And then finally, like most of you, we also have our own grant-based programming that strengthens global civil society, meaning that we apply for grants from major endowments and foundations. We use that money to engage in programming around technology with nonprofits, very similarly to what many of you on this call probably do, maybe in other mission areas, but applying for those grants, securing those grants, and then using them to push, to push your programming forward. So as you can see already, TechSoup is at least six different things. And it's funny, I've been working at TechSoup for many years now, and I think probably everyone on this call has heard the idea of the elevator pitch, right? Somebody says, well, give me your elevator pitch on, on what your nonprofit does. And the first thing I say is like, how long is this elevator ride? Because we have a lot to talk about. TechSoup is kind of like a diamond. We have a lot of different faces. We serve in a lot of different ways. And I'm excited to share with you some of the details about how we can help you today. So let's start with the TechSoup catalog. As I said, we host offers from all sorts of different technology companies. Um, and those offers are priced so that nonprofits can afford them. And as you go to the TechSoup website, which is techsoup.org, you can find that product catalog, two quick, easy ways from the front page there. It's right up there in the top of the navigation, the product catalog. And then as you scroll down where it says browse catalog, both take you to the same place. This catalog contains lots of different technology offers that we've negotiated the prices on for nonprofits. But by far, one of the largest is with Microsoft, who've been a longtime TechSoup partner. Uh, and probably um, if your nonprofit is using Microsoft, there's a very good chance you actually are using it through your, the TechSoup relationship. These days, 
Microsoft's offers from TechSoup are really centered around Microsoft 365 or Office 365. And this is the cloud-based version of those Office applications that everybody's used to hearing about, like Microsoft Office, Excel, Outlook, and many, many, many more. Um, it used to be in the old days of those tech that you would get a CD-ROM, right, in the mail, or you would buy that, maybe at Best Buy or something, and then you would load that CD on your computer. And obviously today, that's not how it happens. You download this all through the internet. Um, and these cloud-based versions kind of work in perpetuity. You get the cloud-based version, you pay a subscription price, and then um, you have that software to work with as long as you need it. Um, we also still have the older versions of on-premises software from Microsoft. These versions of software do go out of date after a few years. You'll get a, some updates to them, but at some point you would need to pay a new price to upgrade to the latest version. And then, of course, you know, we do have access to Windows, full pro, uh, pro full operating system. Um, and all of these Microsoft offers are available through the TechSoup website. But what's important to really note here is that I was saying before on the services slide earlier, um, TechSoup also provides nonprofits with help to get these software packages installed on your systems, to configure them properly. Um, and that, I think, is really what is the most valuable part of the TechSoup relationship with nonprofits these days, is we can help you get this stuff up and running. Um, and I'm excited that we can do that because that means that you can spend more of your time focusing on your mission and less time troubleshooting your technology. Another major brand that we offer access to through our catalog is Adobe. And if anybody on this call right now is a communications professional specifically or, or a designer, then you know all about Adobe already. They are one of the leading companies when it comes to providing technology around communication, right? Adobe created the PDF, the portable document format. Um, and uh, they also created Creative Cloud, um, which is a design package, um, which takes some training to know how to use, but has lots of very powerful design features in it. Um, you can get individual memberships to Creative Cloud through TechSoup. You start with a $5 admin fee, um, and then you pay $19.99 per month to Adobe for that package. Um, Acrobat Pro DC is the Adobe product that lets you manage, edit, reconfigure PDFs. There are other versions on the market as well, but Acrobat Pro DC is the official one that's built by Adobe that we offer. And then a new one from Adobe that TechSoup has had for about seven or eight months now is Adobe Express, which we're very excited about, and lots of nonprofits are really excited about it as well. It is a communications package like Creative Cloud, but I would describe it as being simpler and easier to use. You don't need the depth of training that Creative Cloud really requires sometimes to use Adobe Express. Um, and one of the things that I'm hearing these days is that Adobe Express has video, capa uh, video editing capabilities, particularly that nonprofits are really taking advantage of. And best of all, it's available to nonprofits right now for a $0 admin fee. So check out Adobe Express if communications are something that you think your nonprofit needs to move forward and do a better job on this year. Of course, if you are in the financial realm of nonprofits running the books and making sure that everything is balanced, um, Intuit QuickBooks is another product available through the catalog that lots of nonprofits take. In fact, I think at this point right now, Intuit QuickBooks may be the most popular item that we have in the catalog. Um, and it's really QuickBooks Online, specifically the web-based version or cloud-based version of that software that is most popular with nonprofits. Um, some of the older versions of QuickBooks, which were sort of a, a meld between on-premises on and cloud are being phased out and it's all a cloud all a cloud situation with Adobe, with uh, Intuit QuickBooks these days. Um, by the way, at the end of this webinar, you will get an email which has this presentation in it. 
And these underlined links in the presentation are live and you'll be able to click on them and go straight to the product. And I'm calling that out right now because there's also a QuickBooks online FAQ, frequently asked questions that you may wanna check out if uh, Intuit QuickBooks is something that your nonprofit is thinking about. There are many other brands in the TechSoup catalog, and I'm displaying just a handful of them here on the screen. This is not an exhaustive list. The best thing to do if you really want to see all of it is to just go in the catalog and surf around there. There are many new offers coming in all the time. We are regularly talking to software companies and hardware companies about bringing new items into the TechSoup catalog. And again, like I said, we work on behalf of nonprofits to really negotiate the best pricing possible for you on these items. Now, hardware, which I just mentioned, is also a very important part of what nonprofits come to TechSoup for. We provide access to new and used laptops, desktops, servers, networking, internet hotspots, even small pieces of hardware like headsets. Um, we have established relationships with Dell, Lenovo, and HP uh, to provide $0 admin-free access to discounts and discounted catalog offers. Um, JourneyEd is a smaller brand you may not have heard of, but provides quite a bit of great hardware access through TechSoup. And the one I want to call out most to you these days is the refurbished hardware section of TechSoup. So we've known for some time now that it can be incredibly wasteful just to take a computer that nobody's using anymore and just toss it in the dump. Um, and in fact, over the years, a quite an industry has emerged of companies that actually take used hardware and then they refurbish it and make sure that that hardware is all fun functioning properly, that is still up to spec for a modern computer. And then that hardware can be resold, of course, at a lower price than new, brand new hardware. Um, and this is a very green practice that TechSoup has helped pioneer. Um, and in fact, I believe next week, we have a special offer on refurbished hardware coming up around Earth Day. Um, and so I just want to call out refurbished hardware. And in particular, we found during the pandemic, for instance, that when there were real supply chain issues around brand new hardware, the, a lot of nonprofits used our refurbished hardware program as a way to get what they needed. To find the hardware section of the catalog, it is a little tricky, which is why I'm calling it out in this next slide here. If you go to the product catalog, then you will see on the left side of the page, a tab for hardware. Check out that hardware tab and you can learn a lot more about hardware that your nonprofit can access through TechSoup. Right, as I've mentioned, it's not just software and hardware anymore that TechSoup provides access to for nonprofits. Instead, we also have a brand new set of services that are available to TechSoup members. And these services are designed to help you implement, manage, troubleshoot your tech stack and make sure that your staff and board and volunteers know how to use the technology your nonprofit has and uh, is trained accordingly. And so to get to the services section, and give me a second here while the slides catch up, they can be a little bit slow, but in the top navigation bar next to the product catalog area, there is a services drop down menu. And uh, under there are a variety of different things that you might be interested in. The first is called the digital assessment tool which is a tool tech suit designed to help nonprofits kind of go deep and examine the different functional areas that they work in, like their finance, their communications, their security. And it runs you through a series of questions to help you understand whether or not you need to make some changes to that tech stack. Help Desk is another um, offer that TechSoup provides access to and help desk services really are just as the name it says, help desk to help nonprofits troubleshoot one off stuff. So, you know, if you have that one printer that seems to really give people a lot of trouble, um, help desk is the kind of thing that you can get a contract with TechSoup and we can help you troubleshoot that thing. Um, Office 365, that Microsoft product I mentioned earlier, often nonprofits will need assistance uh, 
migrating emails and data into that Office 365 environment and um, stepping even one step further back. And Kevin will talk about this in a little bit, but um, TechSoup provides support for your Office 365 account when you get it through TechSoup. Uh, at a minimum, we're talking about a $1 per license cost. Although for some of the more sophisticated Microsoft packages, it's obviously more money than that. Um, but that support service is a crucial part of the value that TechSoup provides nonprofits. Um, and uh, we're excited to be able to offer that to you. Um, we also provide remote office standard or pro installation support. That's a service that fewer and fewer nonprofits need these days as they make the transition to Microsoft 365 or Office 365. We also have something called managed IT. Managed IT is a much larger and more broad effort to work with a nonprofit and help them manage their entire tech stack. Whereas help desk, the first item in that in that bullet list is sort of like one thing that you focus on. Managed IT is about looking at the entire technology stack that your nonprofit is using and working with TechSoup to manage that. And then the digital assessment tool, which I just mentioned. Um, more and more, we're learning that one of the biggest areas nonprofits are telling us they really need help with is with their website and with digital marketing services, which is, you know, online communications, really. And so we are pioneering over the last few years services to help nonprofits understand how to update their website, if they want to make changes to their website, what could they do, what should they think about in terms of a budget around that. Um, and you can start with a consultation and development pitch from TechSoup and talk to us about what it is you're interested in doing. And we can help walk you through the process of figuring out what it is you ought to do with your website, how to get help setting it up. Similarly, um, lots of nonprofits do rely on digital marketing or digital outreach, you know, email, ads, those kinds of things online to reach out to the communities that they serve, to reach out to potential donors. Um, and again, folks often need help understanding exactly how to do that. What are the best practices for sending emails? How do you get people's email addresses in the first place? These digital marketing services are a new area and TechSoup is happy to help nonprofits understand what's possible. Some of you may already be using something called Google Ad Grants. Google Ad Grants are a $10,000 a month grant you can get from Google um, in the form of advertising in Google search. Um, there are some tips and tricks you need to know in order to use that service effectively. Um, but TechSoup, again, is pioneering a way to help nonprofits understand how to use Google Ad Grants and what to do there. Um, we also have two new services that are coming online right now that are important to call out to this group of folks. Um, one is the Google Analytics Migration Service. If you already have a website, it's extremely likely you've implemented Google Analytics, which we know is a free product from Google um, that for years has sort of been the standard of how people look at and understand the traffic to their websites, basic demographics, et cetera. Google is changing that. And as of July of this year, folks will have needed to migrate to the newest version of Google Analytics. Um, but there is some technical know-how you need to have in order to do that. And if you don't get that migration done by July, you will start to lose some data on your Google Analytics account until you do make that transition. So if you are um, hot to move your Google Analytics and get that migration going, reach out and talk to TechSoup now because we can help you with that. A second new service we're bringing online right now is a domain registration service. Um, so if you do not already have a website up and running, but you are trying to figure out how to do that, one of the first things you'll need to do is register your domain. So for TechSoup, our domain is TechSoup, right? TechSoup.org, that's our site. Um, if you need help registering your domain, then come to TechSoup and we can help you figure that out. And of course, as you see on this slide, if you take all of these ideas together, we can help you bring your nonprofit all the way up to speed by getting your domain registered, 
getting a new version of Google Analytics installed, working with you to figure out what your website needs to be. These are the services that we can offer to you. Um, and as again, in the next slide, you'll see I'm pulling down to another set of offers that we provide, which is called TechSoup Courses. TechSoup Courses is our effort to help nonprofits provide education and training support to staff, volunteers, boards, um, et cetera, to uh, understand the tech that you have access to. Um, one of the great things about TechSoup courses um, is that we have access to something called um, the digital, the Microsoft Digital Skill Center, which is something that we collaborated directly with Microsoft on to help nonprofit folks understand like deeper details around using Excel and other Microsoft platforms. Those are extremely helpful elements of our education offerings. We've got over 70,000 learners who've accessed more than 200 TechSoup courses so far. They're available both in English and in Spanish. Um, these courses are all designed specifically for nonprofits. So again, going back to that core value we have, being a 501c3 ourselves, we understand what nonprofits struggle with. And as we build these courses, they are designed specifically for nonprofits themselves. Anyone can sign up to take these courses. And as I said, there are numerous uh, uh, nonprofit tech topics like Excel managing data, CRM, which is the customer relationship management database, cybersecurity, and a whole lot more. And then, as I mentioned, the Microsoft Digital Skills Center. And again, as I said, you'll get copies of these slides after the presentation. You'll be able to click on these live links and go and check those things out for yourself. Here's a great example of some of the tracks available in our courses. Um, offers. Uh, this is called the Nonprofit Foundational Skills Track. Um, and each of these courses is on a different topic, but taken together, they are an excellent way to understand some overall technology topics that your nonprofit will have to work with. I really like this one. I'm a big Excel user in my day-to-day -day work. Um, so always looking for new opportunities to stretch my Excel skills and understand how to do pivot tables better and all kinds of things like that. Now, I'm gonna bring up to the floor Kevin Mulhall, who's a wonderful person at TechSoup, who is a senior technical customer success manager. The customer success team at TechSoup is really there to help nonprofits get the most out of the products that they've received from TechSoup. And that's important to call out here because Kevin, and then following Kevin is Kelly Garrett. Kelly has a different mission. Kelly and the account management group help you manage your relationship with TechSoup directly. Meaning, if you are trying to figure out how to log into your TechSoup account, you need help updating who's on there, that's what Kelly can help with. Kevin's team can help you with how to deal with Microsoft or Adobe or some other product that you've received from TechSoup. So with that, I'll invite Kevin to come forward and tell us a bit more about the customer success team and how they can help. Thanks, Nick. It's a pleasure to be speaking with you all today. Again, my name is Kevin Mahal, and I'm a senior technical customer success manager here at TechSoup. Those of you may be wondering what exactly is customer success, um, Nick did, of course, uh, an excellent job of explaining at a very high level, um, but I'll have um, some more additional details about our team on a later slide. Uh, before beginning, though, um, I'd like to start with a quick poll uh, question. Is your organization currently using Microsoft 365? There's no obligation, of course, to answer. Uh, we'll give it about a half a minute to field uh, results and see where we land. Oh, the early numbers are pretty exciting. Um, looks like it's about 65, 35. Okay. Yeah, 66. Wow, this is interesting. Yeah, this is probably. Uh, I would say the lowest number, um, which is which is good, because um, it gives an opportunity uh, to begin discussing um, uh, some other things. Uh, if we could uh, uh, then go um, forward here. Um, for those of you that are not currently using um, 
Microsoft 365. We're not fully aware of what the platform is. 365 is Microsoft Software as a Service Solution. 365 Core Licensing for All Intents and Purposes comes in two versions. Microsoft 365 Business, which includes Business Basic, Business Standard, and Business Premium. Microsoft 365 Enterprise E3 and E5, and Office 365 Enterprise E1, E3, and E5. The two versions exist as either web-based or hybrid licensing. Web-based, as the name implies, provides access to only the web versions of the various applications, such as Word for the web, Excel for the web, etc. Hybrid licensing, on the other hand, provides web-based access, as well as a desktop application entitlement providing the full version of Office. With over 150 different charity subscription SKUs, there's literally, there literally isn't anything programmatic that a 365 license can't address. If you're ready to begin your journey towards accessing Microsoft Cloud Solutions for your organization, there's a three-step process. First, you'll need to create an account at the Microsoft nonprofit portal. Next, you'll need to have that account validated Validation service is provided on the back end by both TechSoup and Microsoft and typically takes five to seven business days to process. And the final part will be introducing what we refer to as the cloud manager or cloud manager tool to an authorized individual account. This CSP introducing will allow you to access, will allow you access to the storefront where you'll be able to purchase licensing if you find yourself stuck in any part of the process, we do have a team at the ready to assist via chat as shown in the bottom right corner. Next slide, please. It's coming, it's a little slow today for some reason. Oh, all good. I mean, really slow. <laughs> that's that's all right. So hey, I'll actually, go I'm ahead. Sorry. Hey, Kevin, I was going to say, we have a great um, question in the Q&A saying, you know, they've noticed the pricing for Office 365 E3 licenses through TechSoup is uh, matches up with the pricing available through Microsoft. What's the benefit or downside to buying directly through Microsoft for nonprofits versus through TechSoup? That's like probably a top two or three question to ask. That's a great question, whoever asked that. So how it basically works in a nutshell is when you request from Microsoft, you are requesting WebDirect. When you request through them, they are what would be considered your like your partner of record uh, for your licenses. So what that means is, is that if you have any needs surrounding your 365 licenses, you would need to go to Microsoft to have those needs addressed. Whereas TechSoup as a cloud service provider, or you may heard the term CSP used, that means we are your partner of record. And what that means is that you have access to a wealth of individuals through both the CSP team, the account management team, um, and Kelly's team, specifically those CSP. And in uh, cases where there is um, maybe more advanced technological questions, uh, where that's where I would come in and directly work with an organization to be able to help make sense of licensing. What that means from a support perspective is TechSoup pays for something called advanced support for partner entitlement. So think of the time that you go to ask for support on something and you go to this person, you go to that person, you go to this person, and it, hopefully it's resolved, but it may not be. With advanced support entitlement, we send support tickets directly to Microsoft tier three, tier four supports. This means an engineer or a solutions architect is someone who has multiple certifications is working your case support, not just a general frontline person who is going to then have to pass it off or pass it off. It's something that we extend to you at no cost. Um, and I think that it's quite possibly one of the best value adds that you could get from any licensing that's offered through TechSoup. Um, 
Great question. So understanding a move to the cloud can be challenging for organizations. We offer a free consultation service. During your session with us, we'll be able to assist you with registration, choosing the appropriate subscription licensing, providing recommendations for services and courses, license implementation, and ongoing support to you, and most importantly, no cost. Next slide. So as promised, I wanted to give a quick overview, uh, just reiterating what Nick had, uh, again, so excellently put, uh, what our team does. For the sake of time, I've broken it down into five general areas. Technology review and planning, organizational strategy, identifying opportunities for potential financial and volunteer support, triaging managed support projects and services, providing quotes and invoices for product requests. So this ties in excellently with that question um, and speaks to what customer success does as a larger whole. We are not a managed support team, but we are what we would like to call ourselves a trusted advisor. We are there to advocate for you. Our goal is to make sure that you're getting the right product for the right price and that you are able to successfully onboard what the licensing that you are requesting. So with that, thank you much, and I'll hand it back over to you. Great. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, at the end of the day, I what I repeatedly hear, kind of looping back to that question that was asked, is, is what's the advantage to working with us versus working with Microsoft? And, and I think the real advantage is that because we're a 501c3 and we know the Microsoft products deeply, we're in a great position to just help you answer the questions right up front. Um, you won't have to necessarily go to Microsoft every single time you have a problem. You can instead just work directly with TechSoup and we'll help you troubleshoot that stuff. And that is because we are pulling from a wealth of knowledge, having worked with thousands of other nonprofits who've adopted these Microsoft solutions. So um, we work with you. It's our mission um, because we're a 501c3. We really care that you get the value out of those products, not just that you have purchased them and then we're on to the next customer. Um, and we have a team in place to help you. I, I think that really is the big difference. Um, now, uh, please welcome to the stage, Kelly Garrett um, from the client services team. Um, and as I said, uh, client services is really here to help you manage your relationship with TechSoup, um, to help you uh, work through any issues you may have with your TechSoup account. Uh, probably the most common ones include the fact that there has been staff turnover at your nonprofit and um, nobody knows who has the passwords anymore to TechSoup or you need to add new people to the account or take other people off the account things like that. Um, so Kelly, come on forward and take it away. Hi, everybody. How's it going? I'm Kelly Garrett, Associate Manager of Client Services. Thank you for that wonderful introduction, Nick. Um, today, I will be talking about, you know, just some basic tips and tricks of navigating our website, um, getting in contact with us, a little bit of background about what's going on with our contact us page and things like that. Um, so thank you for moving it on here. So to start off, one of the big things we get called about or contacted about um, from members is um, questions about products and services that we have available on www.techsoup.org. Um, a lot of times folks are asking for, you know, uh, what will the fee be? Is it available? Um, you know, are there any restrictions? Things along those lines. And we've made a big effort at TechSoup to try to give you all the information we have on our website, on the um, product page or the offer page is what this is called. Um, so a popular product that we have is QuickBooks Online Plus. Um, you'll see here that it has the admin fee listed in red. Below it, it has the login button. If you logged in, you'd be able to add it to your cart. Um, additionally, underneath that, you'll see that there's three tabs of information. And you always want to make sure you go through each one of those tabs and review everything before you check out with um, a product or a service. A lot of our partners and TechSoup having no refunds, no exchange policy um, for 
uh, for most of the products. Um, it's one of those things that we can't really waive. So it's important to make sure that you're really looking at everything on the product page, reviewing everything, making sure it ma uh, matches up with what your organization needs and wants, and then move forward with it um, rather than checking out and then going back and then realizing, oops, I needed the other version or oops, this doesn't meet my needs um, because that can sometimes be, you know, we're not going to be able to refund it. So very important to go here. Um, I always find that the, um, you know, script, the middle tab uh, name can sometimes change. It's not always subscription details. Um, so you'll see it sometimes has system requirements, uh, things like that, but um, all the information is there if you just click through it and read through everything very thoroughly. Perfect. Um, next slide, please. If it will load for you. It's up, but slow. There we go. So with TechSoup's uh, client services, it's that's our customer support. As um, so, client services, customer support, same thing. Um, we always encourage folks to go and check out our TechSoup support page. Um, it's got a ton of really useful information. A lot of times your questions are answered there and you don't have to try to get in touch with us. So we always, always, always recommend going to the help um, button at the very top of the screen. You'll see it's highlighted there in the screenshot. It's next to your login button, or it can also be you're logged in next to the circle um, with the profile icon. Um, so it's always gonna be right there and you're pretty much gonna see it on every page. So once you click on that, that will take you to our TechSoup support site. Uh, next slide, please. Should have it. There we go. I hear the Jeopardy song in my head. Do, do, do. <laughs> um, so once you get to the support page, this is a great place. Um, you can see different uh, topics. There's promoted articles. And then there's that search bar right there where you can search keywords. So say you're getting in, um, I'm not eligible notification at checkout. You can look up eligibility here. Or say you're wondering why your organization, you know, in your account says that your qualification pending. What does that mean? Things like that you can absolutely look up. A um, lot of how to's in here and we try to be as clear as possible, make sure we're giving you all the information. So highly recommend going here and trying and taking a stab, trying to find an answer. A lot of times you're going to be able to find it, especially when it comes to account management, eligibility, um, where's my validation token, things along those lines. Um, great place to start is here and see if there's an answer for you. Next question, please. Or next question. Next slide, please. <laughs> So um, one thing to keep in mind uh, is that if you don't have your answer in TechSoup support and the product page is not making sense or you're not finding the specific answer, you can reach out to TechSoup's client services. And there's two different ways that we're, you're able to contact us right now. Both are live contacts. Um, one is our live chat support. So if you do navigate to our contact us page, it's always linked at the very bottom of every page on TechSoup.org. It's, you know, there's an about contact us, things like that down there. So if you go there, you'll see that um, we have our chat and our phone line called out um, on this page or on when you just go to www.techsoup.org, you should see a help uh, bubble in the bottom right corner. When our chat is available, um, which is Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, we That's the typical hours. Sometimes there's changes to that, but that's, that's usual. When you click on that help button um, at the bottom, you'll get a nice FAQ pop-up and also an option that says live chat. If you don't see it there for any reason, it's on most of our web pages, but it might be not there sometimes on some of our deeper like articles and stuff. Just go back to the landing page, the TechSoup.org, and that help button definitely will have the live chat option when we're open and available for live chat. Uh, next slide, please. And once it does load, it will have a screenshot of um, the live chat highlight. There we go. So this is on the 
main page, www.techsoup.org, like I've mentioned a couple of times now. And when you click on that, you'll see it gives you an option to search the same FAQs that are in our TechSoup support. You also then get an option of live chat in that bottom right corner. And you click on that to get a live chat started. It will connect you to a real person. We don't use AI or a bot or anything like that. Um, you'll get a greeting that says, hey, you know, someone will be with you right away. And then one of our client services representatives, um, also called account specialists, um, they will then join the chat and be able to assist you from there. And it is a live person, you know, available. So you can always go through that, uh, that pathway to get in touch. Um, as I mentioned, seven to four Pacific time, Monday through Friday, the chat is available. Usually recommend going to that main page because it's always available there. Um, the phone support is also available. It's more limited though. So it's from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. Pacific time, Monday through Wednesday. And that's our phone number right there, which is also on our contact us page. Um, we are experiencing very, very high volumes of contacts right now, and we are in the process of building our team bigger um, so that we can make sure we're getting to everybody in a timely fashion, but it has caused long wait times on the chats and on the phones, so we just ask everybody to please be patient, just hang in there, we will get to you, we don't hang up on folks or kick people out of the queue when our phone line closes or anything like that, so um, you know, if you have an urgent issue, please get in touch with us and just hang in there and we'll get to you as fast as we can. And we hope to have uh, reduced those delays and responses um, sooner than later. Um, oh, if you could go back, Nick. Um, so yeah, once that slide comes back up, I'll just highlight a couple more things. Um, but basically just keeping that in mind that that's why TechSoup support is a great place to go try to find answers first and then reach out to us. And then we just ask for patience and we're a nonprofit ourselves. We're trying our best to get um, you know, more resources going for you all and to get to you as quickly as possible. And we appreciate our members understanding during this time. Um, something to keep in mind is that client services um, can help what you think we can and cannot help you with. So we can help you with account management. We can ask, answer your questions about eligibility. Um, we can help you navigate resources and request products on TechSoup.org. What we aren't is IT support trained or product support trained. That's why we have TechSoup services that Nick highlighted great earlier that you'll want to go to if you're looking for IT support. Um, if it's a product you're having issues with, um, usually we're going to tell you to go to the offer provider that um, provided it. So using QuickBooks Online, the, per, uh, the company that provided it is Intuit. Intuit support is going to provide support for their QuickBooks Online product. They've got the trained experts that are going to tell you how to be able to make the reports or do the transfers and stuff like that. Um, we can answer best basic questions, support questions. We can point you towards support resources that the partners pointed out to us before, things along those lines. But for in-depth IT product support, functionality questions, a lot of times we're going to be pointing you towards TechSoup services or the partner that provided the product or service um, for the support. Um, but we love working with you all. We love hearing from you. You know, that's what we're here for. And, you know, uh, we'll be in touch, I'm sure, at some point in your TechSoup career. Um, usually, we're the team that works on new qualifications. Um, just so you know, if you've uh, registered recently, we are seeing it take at least 10 business days to start the qualification process. Um, if you are in an urgent hurry for that, again, get in touch with us and we will um, be able to kind of start looking at your account a little sooner. Um, but it is something that's going on a little bit of a delay with the qualification right now, but you can always check what your qualification status is in your My Account and then contact us if you need something a little more uh, quickly. But that's my spiel for today. I hope everyone's having a great day and it's great getting to chat with some of you in the Zoom chat. Great. Thank you so much, Kelly. And and thank you again, everybody who joined today's webinar. And, and yes, I'm sorry about the little the lagginess on a couple of these slides here. We all know what Wi-Fi can be like sometimes. Um, but just to wrap it up again, um, our mission is to support nonprofits specifically. We do not exist to make money the way a corporation does, right? Um, and uh, we really are devoted to making sure that you all can execute the mission that you have in mind, supporting your communities, doing good work. Um, and we do believe strongly that technology can be extremely helpful, um, but sometimes we need help managing and implementing that technology. TechSoup can help you do that. Um, and so if you found some of the offers or product listings in today's webinar, 
of interest or um, you'd like to take things a step further. Um, if you're not already a TechSoup member, please join TechSoup. There's a qualification process you need to go through so that we can confirm that you are indeed a 501c3 nonprofit yourself. Once we've gone through that confirmation, um, then you are free to use the catalog. Um, and uh, we look forward to supporting you in that use of technology to, to further your mission. Um, as I said, you'll get a follow-up email after this webinar is complete. It'll have a link to the deck in there so that you can go ahead and click through some of those links as you want. Um, and uh, in the meantime, please have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, and I look forward to TechSoup being able to support you in your mission. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.